Next, I'm going to do the Seneca Fragrance Collection. And what I have here is a white tray. It's wicker. And what I have here is a 20 by 22 inch shrink bag. And it happens to be a snowflake design. So this is definitely going to be a Christmas item. Unless you'd be surprised, people that live back where it snows all the time, snowflakes are just popular, I think, year-round. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken and I've dropped the white wicker tray into the shrink deck. And then I'm going to take my iridescent shiny tissue, one whole sheet, this is not cut in half, and we're going to put this in the shrink bag on top of the tray. And what I'm doing is I'm building my gift set from the inside out. You could put it on the tray and then move it and put it into the bag. But when you have movement, a lot of times you will drop something or it moves out of position. So we're going to put the shimmer lotion in. And then we're going to put the shimmer body wash. And then we're going to put the fragrance in the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little pearl necklace just right over the product. And then we're going to take our tying ribbon and we're going to close our bag. And then I'm going to pick up the tray and try not to have any movement because I have everything in position the way I want it. And then I'm going to turn my heat gun on low. Make sure you have a nice, smooth, even finish. Keep your gun moving. And I very rarely turn my heat gun on high. I always leave it on low. Be very careful when you get done with your heat gun that you do not put it down somewhere where it's going to ruin the tabletop or small children are close by. So you want to be aware of that. Okay, I'm going to take the white sparkle tool and we're just going to go back and forth. And again, working with tool is wonderful because there's no twisting, there's no turning. And I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times. And we're going to attach this to the tying ribbon. And then I'm going to take this gold wired ribbon. It's a wonderful ribbon. I can hardly wait to put it on my Christmas tree. Just going to move that out of the way. And then I'm just going to pinch that together. And we're going to make a loop. And then I'm going to twist, make another loop. I'm going to do this again. We're going to do it twice. So you have actually two loops on each side. When you're doing your packaging, one of the things that you want to remember is that the prettier your package is, the more you're going to sell. The eye buys. And this is already turned under. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little holiday ornament and we're going to attach that and just kind of let it be on the top of the package. And of course, whoever receives this particular package as a gift can take the ornament off, use it on their tree, it has a clip they can put it in their hair. Not really, but I'm sure somebody might. <laughs> and 
and then you're going to flip your tool okay <clears throat> now here's your holiday collection of fragrance one of your most asked questions when you're selling fragrance is what does the fragrance smell like so what you can do is you when you get finished you can take and spritz your package top and you have mm, smells wonderful <laughs> 